I have a question for you, Manuel. So um, I was looking at your 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 Twitter bio, and then I was on the Tweak.io website. So you mentioned it earlier, and basically you are a proponent of functional programming languages languages on Tweak. And one of the sentences on the Tweak.io website, you can go and check it out. Is it literally says we turn moonshots into products that work. So based on that sentence. Is there a particular use case that you see? Because it seems like Tweak.io is looking to uh, create these enterprise level solutions. I'm not sure if they're going to be using Plutus or Marlowe in the future, or if, or if they're even in that realm. But as a Plutus developer, are there certain use cases that you see for Plutus right now that are not illustrated out, not uh, uh, that are not illustrated right now. For example, I was looking at a sample interest rate swap contract on the Plutus.io website. Are there additional use cases that you see right now? So we are we are really in the process of of um, looking at a, a whole range of different um, potential applications, and um, we are, we are starting from the financial because. With the financial applications, and that's also why Malo focuses on financial contracts. Um, it's, it's. I'm not saying everything is clear, but there is a lot of clarity around what you want to do on a blockchain. And there's uh, people come up with new ideas all the time, but there's definitely already a core set of things which we know we absolutely want to do. Um, outside of that financial domain, it gets a lot more speculative just because the technology is so young. I mean, there are a lot of things uh, which are of great interest, um, uh, just to name, for example, tracking real world resources, um, uh, maybe things like uh, real estate or um, uh, resources uh, throughout a supply chain. Um, for example, um, it, th there's a lot of uh, um, a regulation around how how wood um, uh, can be used and has to be regrown and so on. So um, you could imagine you sequence the DNA of uh, when you cut the trees down, um, record them on a blockchain, and then track uh, the life cycle of how this uh, raw material is turned into products. And then when you get a product which sells, which claims to be eco-friendly from this. Um, uh, regrown forest, uh, you can check uh, that nobody cut down a, 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 a tree in a rainforest uh, lying to you and uh, selling you this false product. Uh, so I think there's a lot of scope for, for these kind of applications which go completely out of the financial domain. But I also think it's really, um, I like to compare the situation now to something like the, the uh, dot-com boom uh, around the internet. Right. There's a, a lot of wild ideas and um, then there are also a lot of people who say oh, this is all nonsense um, because there, there are a lot of people who try to scam other people and so it's uh, coming to the this, uh, conclusion that everybody is just doing that is, is also something which happens. Uh, but it's as with the dot-com boom where there was a lot of hype and a lot of uh, sifting through ideas. not because people were on purpose misleading somebody else, but you have to try all these ideas before you know which works. But if you look at it from our position now, we know this whole technology, it has transformed uh, the life of, of a, a huge population, part of the population of the planet. Um, I mean, all the things you do with your mobile phone these days are at the end based on, on a lot of this communication technology which was pioneered at the time. And um, I think with uh, distributed ledgers and blockchains, we are in a similar situation at the moment. People, people are sifting through a lot of uh, ideas and some of them being crazy. And um, uh, it, it takes a while to find out what works, what doesn't work. And we need these systems like Cardano and Plutus in place in order for to be able to experiment <clears throat> what what works and what doesn't work. So I think there, there are going to be a lot of transformative technologies, um, but 
even if it seems chaotic, crazy at the moment, um, I'm sure this will be sorted out. And when we look back at it, what, 10, 15 years, then, um, then we'll be much smarter and we'll say, ah, why didn't you immediately know it's these five things which will change everything? Um, but we don't know now. <laughs> yeah. That and to put it in, put it in a little bit of a scale, you know, you referenced the dot com boom, and uh, I've been around a couple of years, and the uh, I don't we're we're not like we're in the middle of the dot com boom. I just remember in the nineteen eighties, I used to use dial up technology to get to connect to the internet, and the internet wasn't even functional until you did that first. And the dot com boom did not come until like six or eight years later. I'm thinking, you know, 90, 85, 86, we were dialing up to the internet. You had things like CompuServe. And the internet was just being built. The infrastructure mm. was just coming together. And the dot com boom did not kick in until about 1992, 93, is, you know, best my memory serves. I think we're still like in the very early stage of the dot com boom, we're not in the middle of it. We're still just barely getting past the dial up to where people are actually connecting the internet and using wallets. We're at the very beginning of what we call the dot com, dot com boom, in my opinion, in reference to blockchain. I mean, I don't know if you think the same way, but that's how I see it. No, I, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think your, your explanation of the timeline or your, your energy with that timeline um, I, I totally agree with it. Yeah, we are still at the point where we are establishing the basic infrastructure, right? So yeah, so the craziness hasn't even begun yet. <laughs> that... Yep, I agree. I totally agree. We're still it's, it's still building the network that whatever that boom is going to be. Yeah, we're still very early, way way early in the game. 